Now, Israeli forces have, begun, have again bombed the Nusirat refugee camp in central Gaza, killing five and wounding dozens. This comes as displaced Palestinians try to return to their homes in northern Gaza. However, the Israeli army has renewed warnings for Palestinians not to return to Gaza's north a day after its forces opened fire on civilians. The military said Palestinians should stay in southern Gaza, where they have been told to shelter because the north is a dangerous combat zone. We have details in this report. Israeli forces have released two Palestine Red Crescent Society ambulance medics after detaining them for 50 days. This was reviewed by the organization who explained that the medics were arrested at a military checkpoint in Khan Yunis during a mission to evacuate patients from Al-Amal Hospital. The fate of six other staff members detained by Israel is still unknown. As the israel Hamas war continues, reports say at least 33,729 Palestinians have been killed and 76,371 wounded in Israeli attacks on Gaza since October 7th, with the death toll in Israel from Hamas's October 7th attack standing at 1,139, with dozens of persons still held captive. Meanwhile, the Israeli military says it is activating two reserve brigades for operational activities in Gaza. The announcement comes as Israel prepares for a ground invasion of Rafah, the southernmost Gaza city that Israel says is Hamas's last stronghold. Recall that Israel last week withdrew most of its remaining ground forces from Gaza after six months of war, leaving its troop levels in the territory at the lowest level in months. The Rafah invasion faces stiff international opposition. In large part, about 1.5 million people are now crowded into the city after fleeing Israel's onslaught. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he is determined to complete the Gaza war, adding that Israel has set a date for the attack and claimed that there is a plan to evacuate hundreds of thousands of civilians from Rafah. In another development, spokesman for the Israeli military, Daniel Hagari, says restrictions on education activities have been lifted across Israel. Similarly, restrictions on gatherings of more than 1,000 people have also been lifted, while sporting events and concerts have been allowed to go ahead. But restrictions on educational activities and gatherings near Israel's perimeter fence with Gaza and on its northern borders will remain in place. Those restrictions have been put in place since October 7th. The update comes a few hours after Agari said Israel was still on the high alert following Iran's attack late on Saturday night.